Hi friends, good morning. Next video from Dhruva Entertainment and Vidu Classes. Friends, this video from Unit 3, that is Animal Diversity 1 of Intermediate First Year Geology. Friends, this is short question, important question and simple question, friends. What is our question, friends? Difference between centipede and millipede. Write about the differences between centipedes and millipedes, friends. You know, friends, what are centipedes and millipedes? The centipedes and millipedes belong to phylum Arthropoda. Friends, these are Arthropodans because they have jointed legs, you know it. And these centipedes and millipedes belong to subphylum Mandibulata. They belong to phylum Arthropoda, subphylum Mandibulata, friends. Phylum Arthropoda, subphylum Mandibulata. Come to classes, friends. Centipedes belong to class Chylopoda, friends. Chylopoda. Millipedes belong to class Diplopoda, friends. Phylum Arthropoda. Subphylum mandibulata. Both centipedes and millipedes belong to phylum arthropoda, subphylum mandibulata. Come to classes, friends. Centipedes belong to class chylopoda. Millipedes belong to class diplopoda. Friends, chylopoda, diplopoda. Now come to differences, friends. See, friends. Centipedes and millipedes. Centipedes are also called as chylopodans, millipedes, diplopoda, you know it friends. These centipedes are commonly called as hundred leggers, friends, century means hundred, you know friends. Pede, poda means legs. Centipedes are commonly called as hundred leggers, whereas millipedes are called as thousand leggers. Hundred leggers, thousand leggers, friends. Telugu lo ite sheta padalu sahastra padalu antar friends. Sheta ante vanda padal friends. So centipedes are called as hundred leggers. Millipedes are called as thousand leggers. Friends, both they belong to centipedes belong to class Chylopoda. You know it. Millipedes belong to class milli sorry. Diplopodans belong to class millipeda. Next friends, both are terrestrial, you know friends, these are terrestrial arthropods, terrestrial, terrestrial. Come to their food habits friends. Centipedes are carnivorous animals friends, they are carnivorous animals, you know it, what is carnivorous? They feed on other animals. Whereas millipedes friends, they feed on decaying plant material. Friends, millipedes feed on decaying plant material. Centipedes are carnivores. Millipedes feed on what, friends? Decaying plant material. Decaying plant material. Now see their body shape, friends. Centipedes have dorsoventrally flattened body. Dorsoventrally flattened body. Whereas millipedes, they have long cylindrical body. Centipedes have dorsoventrally flattened body. Millipedes have long cylindrical body. Next friends, the body of these two has two parts friends, they are head and trunk and head and trunk. Sometimes millipedes have one more friends, that is abdomen, but here I have not given friends, okay. Head and trunk. Next friends, come to friends, antennae. Friends, centipedes have long antennae, antennae is present in the head friends, it is a sensory organ friends. Centipedes have long antennae, whereas millipedes have short antennae. See friends, what is antennae here you see friends? This one friends, see friends. This is centipede, they have long antennae, this is millipede, short antennae. Friends, okay? See friends here, long antennae and short antennae. See friends here, long antennae and short antennae. Centipedes have Long antennae, millipedes have short antennae. Okay, friends. Now see, friends. Come to centipedes, friends. 
each trunk segment it has two parts you know head and trunk the trunk segment each trunk segment has a pair of appendages each trunk segment has only one pair of appendages these are clawed append they have claws friends each trunk segment has a pair of clawed appendages whereas in thousand leggers millipedes each trunk segment has two pairs of appendages or two pairs of legs here each segment has one pair of legs friends here one here each segment has two pairs of legs but here this legs have what friends claws here we don't have claws okay friends that is important in centipedes each trunk segment has only one pair of appendages or one pair of legs whereas in millipedes each trunk segment has two pairs of legs or two pairs of appendages but the legs of centipedes are clawed they have claws friends okay friends now see friends another important point the first pair of trunk appendages are the first pair of legs friends you know head has no legs yet legs are present only in the trunk region the first pair of legs have poisonous claws see friends the first pair of trunk appendages have poisonous claws vishap golu friends vishap golu whereas in millipedes we don't have poisonous claws millipedes have no poisonous claws poisonous class absent in millipedes now come to centipedes friends they are venomous they can bite friends you know friends you, you see a gel, jerry centipede scolopendra it can bite because it is it has poisonous class so they are venomous they can bite whereas millipedes they are not venomous will not bite next friends respiratory organs are trachea in both friends both in centipedes and millipedes excretory organs are mal fusion tubules both in centipedes and millipedes so here you have to remember three common character friends what are they both are terrestrial both have trachea as respiratory organs both have mal fusion tubules as their excretory organs these three are easy points friends terrestrial terrestrial respiratory organs are trachea trachea excretory organs are mal fusion tubules and mal fusion tubules okay friends now come to example friends example for centipedes scolopendra and scutigera friends scolopendra and scutigera for millipedes julus and spirostephanus friends telugu lo ite mana em antam friends scolopendra and jerry antam friends mana indlalo dirugutundi friends adhe julus em antam friends rokali banda antam friends rokali banda okay see here friends see friends this is millipede thousand legger this is centipede 100 legger this is centipede this is scolopendra friends this is julus see friends here it has two legs in each segment in each trunk segment has two legs here you see each trunk segment has only one pair of legs see here each leg has a claw friends each leg has a claw okay here see friends here this is the first leg has poisonous class this is antennae the first leg has what friends poisonous class this is centipede this is millipede okay friends this is about what friends difference between centipedes and millipedes once again you see friends this is millipede and centipede you see here this image is clear friends this is millipede this is centipede see here antennae are small friends here antennae is long they are long antennae okay friends is it clear friends this is about millipedes and centipedes millipedes are called as thousand leggers centipedes are called as hundred leggers okay friends these both belong to phylum arthropoda sub phylum mandibulata what about class friends centipedes belong to class chilopoda millipedes belong to class diplopoda okay friends which group of mandibulates have two pairs of legs in each segment that is diplopoda so diplopoda di means two friends poda means legs you have to remember like this di means two each segment has two pairs of legs whereas in chilopoda each segment has one pair of legs okay friends this is about what friends diplopoda and difference between centipedes and millipedes centipedes and millipedes are chilopoda and diplopoda okay friends thank you good day